Hello, guys. I'm going to start with a simple question. What's possible with Go? What are the use cases for using Go? We can implement a cloud and network service, command line interfaces, used for our web development. Also, Go is built to support DevOps and N3. But we can also use Go for creating graphical user interface for desktop and mobile devices. And I have, I hope, five minutes to share with you Fine. What is Fine? Fine is an open source cross platform UI toolkit and app API written entirely in Go. Inside the slide, you can find the official documentation, fine.io, and also the GitHub repository. So, Fine uh, it has been built to allow us to run application on desktop and mobile devices with a single Go code base. It provides different themes, the dark themes, the light themes, and it will run on um, its cross-platform, cross so desktop and mobile devices. I know what we are waiting for, the classic Hello World application, in this case, Hello Gophers. So first of all, we need to uh, create our project, our module, and we need to also get the fine library, in this case, version two. Then to create a simple desktop application with fine, we need to import two packages, the app package and the widget package. With the app package, we can create our application with the method new. Then with the method new window, we can start to create our first window. OK, we have our first window with also a title on this, for this window. We can start to create the different UI components. And we can do that thanks to the package widget. In this case, I'm just creating a, a UI component that it's a label with the text hello gophers. Then we have, we have this label, right, the UI component, the window, and we need to attach this label to the window. We can do that with the method set content because we are setting the content of the window based on the label that we created. We can even uh, specify the size of our, our window with the width and height, and then we are ready to show and run the application with the method show and run. Very simple to, to write, very simple to understand. Now, this is the result. I run it. Uh, there is a small issue with the image. But uh, I run it on my Mac OS. So on the left side, you can see it's a simple uh, window with the text hello gophers. On the left side, you can see that I run just go run. So by default, fine, give me the light dim. But on the right side, you can see that before go run, I specify the variable fine dim equal dark. and uh, in this case, fine provide me the same window, so with the same design, but with the dark dim. When I was playing with, uh, with fine, uh, I started to create a really a simple application that convert an AV to MP4. You can find uh, the source code in my GitHub repository. Feel free to, to clone it to, to see it. And, uh, wow. um, and this one provide me to uh, problem. Uh, to use different UI component, for example, the button the possibility with a uh, dialog, bo uh, dialog box to search inside the file system, select a file, change the button with the icon, put also a progress bar to give a feedback to the user on what's going on, on um, in that moment, and, and of course, see the result. What we can do, so some takeaways, we can think to extend Go behind the web to the desktop and mobile development, and because of that, in these five minutes, I want to share with you Fine that uh, enable us, uh, Go developer, to create also graphical user interface with Go. There are a lot of examples out there on application that you, use, you can use, written entirely with Go and Fine. You can find inside apps.fine.io. And again, Fine enables us to create cross-platform applications that run on desktop and mobile design devices with a single Go code base. If you have any questions about that, you can reach me out. I'm pretty much everywhere, and also here in the conference. My name is Giuseppe. This was my first talk. So thank you so much for your attention.